Hi there, I'm Anastasia and today we'll look at the best ways to remember new English vocabulary. We do a lot of videos on useful words, phrases and idioms that you can use, but it's not enough to just watch those videos. You need to work on remembering new words. And today I have five tips for you on how to do it more efficiently. Are you ready to discover them? Keep watching. Everything's in English. All you need to know. All right, how did you learn to speak English? And the first tip is focus on learning the right vocabulary. It's a common mistake among English learners to try and remember every new word that they encounter, regardless of how rare or difficult they may be. The problem is you may never get into a situation in real life uh, in which you could use those words. Then what's the point in spending time and effort on trying to memorize them? Instead of trying to learn obscure words, focus on essential vocabulary. Don't get me wrong here, I'm not saying you should only focus on learning the basic vocabulary. What I'm saying is focus on those words and those phrases that you would use in your daily life. These can be generic words or maybe some vocabulary specific to a hobby or to your work. You'll use those words more often, which will make your learning faster and will boost your confidence. Tip number two, expose yourself to the right medium. The best way to memorize new English words is to be immersed in a language environment and learn them from specific contexts. When possible, watch films, TV shows in English, listen to podcasts, radio or audiobooks in English as well. We always give you the same advice. Switch as many of your daily habits to English as you can. What's important to remember here though is choosing the right type of content to consume in English. Watching period dramas or reading historical novels will not help you learn relevant vocabulary. You'll probably learn some outdated words that you'll never hear from modern native speakers. Instead, focus on the content that's relevant to you. If you work in IT, you may as well watch IT Crowd or Silicon Valley. If you're into fashion, maybe you'll start reading American Vogue. And for those who are curious about cooking, there are so many uh, vlogs on YouTube about cooking that you'll easily find a lot of recipes, ideas and workshops. It's also nice to think about what kind of English accent you're going for and then learn the words relevant to that particular type of English. If you're trying to master British English, for example, that you may focus on such TV shows as Kill and Eve or the Crown, Doctor Who or Call the Midwife, or you could sign up for our intensive course, The One and Only British Accent. It will boost your British pronunciation in two weeks and you will learn a lot of phrases and words used specifically by Brits. Find out more via the link in the description box. And my next tip is avoid translating. The most tempting thing to do when you hear or see a new English word is going to Google Translate. However, resist that temptation because it's not the best way to learn new words. Instead, try highlighting the new words in the text and figure out the meaning from the context. Then come back to it later and see if you can still remember what it means. When not sure, try using an English to English dictionary. It's a dictionary that gives you definitions rather than translations. Work in this way, you'll remember the use and the meaning of the word. It will help you to recall the words faster and avoid that painful process of translating and finding the right word when you need it. You'll be able to understand English speech and texts faster and soon you'll become fluent. Another great thing to do with new words and phrases is to put them into practice straight away. I know a lot of us don't have an opportunity to practice with other English learners or English speakers straight away. But what you can do right now is make longer sentences, write them down on a piece of paper and come back to them later to see if you can still understand the idea and remember the meaning of those new words. You'll be surprised how helpful it actually is when you want to remember new words. 
the more you practice, the higher the chance that those words and phrases will become your active vocabulary and you'll be able to recall them in no time when you're writing or saying something. And last but not least, focus on learning words in groups. When we learn new information, our brain connects every bit of it with the existing information that we already know. So when you learn a new word, try building those connections straight away. For example, try to check what the synonym or the opposite of the new word is. Because, you know, opposites and synonyms, they always stick together in our memory. Let's say you just learned the word angry. So why not check that its opposites are calm or happy and its synonyms are cross, irritated or annoyed. We've made a video on synonyms for some common English words recently. It may help you memorize new words in groups. So that's it for today. Let me summarize those five tips that we've talked about. Focus on learning only essential vocabulary. Immerse yourself in the English language environment. Avoid translating new words to remember their meaning. Practice using new vocabulary straight away. And learn new words in groups, discovering synonyms or opposites straight away. If you follow these tips, you'll notice how much easier it becomes for you uh, to memorize new words and grow your active and passive vocabulary. Comment below on which of these tips you find most useful and subscribe to our channel if you want to learn more secrets and tricks for successful English language learning. Bye!